Yes, and amen. God has everything under control. I want to encourage you with scripture. You know, the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That sound mind comes from Christ Jesus. So just receive and believe that promise from God. The key is believing. It's believing the promise. And we've got some answer to prayer. Gordon, this is from Cecilia of Phoenix, Arizona. She became increasingly alarmed by the lumps in her breast. They were very large and extremely painful. One day while watching the 700 Club, Cecilia heard Gordon give a word of knowledge for complete healing. And by faith, Cecilia applied the prayer and healing to her condition. The pain left right away, but the lumps were still there after two days the lumps were completely gone. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Here's Stan from South Amboy, New Jersey. He was miserable because of an infection in his gums. The pain was terrible. On January 27th this year, he was watching the 700 Club, and Ashley said, someone is watching with tooth pain. The Lord is healing you. That for you right now, especially in the upper front part of your mouth. The Lord is healing you. Well, Stan heard that. He believed. And then the pain left right away. That is a miracle. Miracles can happen to you. What does it take to get a miracle? How do you get an answer to prayer? Well, number one, you pray in accordance with the will of God. A lot of people have a question about the will of God, particularly for healing miracles. And they get into some kind of weird theology that somehow or other God wants this and he wants to make me suffer and all this kind of stuff. That's not the will of God. Never has been the will of God. Don't make that some kind of theological position that you're somehow privileged enough that God wants to inflict pain on you. He's a loving heavenly father. Now, here's the scripture for you. You need to be grounded in scripture for your faith to really bloom. Jesus asked us to pray a very specific prayer. We call it the Lord's Prayer. And in that prayer, there's this wonderful line, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now think about heaven. Is there anybody sick? The answer is clearly no. Are there any tears? No, they're all wiped away. Is anybody mourning? No. Is anybody lonely? Anybody anxious? Anybody have depression? Anybody poor, any of those things. So you look at heaven and you go, that's God's will. I want that. I want God's will. You're authorized as his ambassador, as the believer in Jesus Christ, as the one that he sent. Believe in the one that he sent and he sends you. He authorizes you to pray this. Pray that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven heaven. And when you believe that with all of your heart and you do not doubt, you have no doubt, you have no unbelief, what the Bible calls an evil heart of unbelief, don't have any of that, you get an answer. The Apostle John said, if we pray in accordance with his will, we know that he hears us. And if we know that he hears, we know we have the answer. So let's pray and let's believe and let's let God do all the rest. Lord, we lift anyone with pain, anyone who has sickness, anyone with COVID, anyone with cancer, anyone with a problem in their body, anyone with infirmity, anyone having stiffness in their knees, in their shoulder, in their elbows. We come together in agreement, and we say, and we ask, and we command, that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven mm -hmm. by the authority given to us by Jesus of Nazareth, who God raised from the dead. By that authority, we command sickness to leave our bodies now in Jesus' name. You have no right. You have no authority. Mm -hmm. Kingdom of heaven come. Will of God be done in our bodies now. For we ask it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. There's someone you have a skin disease on your face and it's like it's underneath the skin and it's causing some. Mm. 
pain. God is healing all of that. You just felt a tingling go throughout your face. God is healing you, restoring your skin. It's just going to be like a newborn baby all over again. God's healed you in Jesus' name. Just receive it. Yeah, there's somebody watching with a severe heart condition. You have an irregular heart beat. Uh, you also suffer from um, just literal heart aches and pains because of this. God is healing that for you right now. Just receive it. You're going to feel some warmth in that area. Just receive that in Jesus' name. There's someone you have severe arthritis in the toes, on the outer toes and your right foot. Very painful for you to walk. Uh, you're in pain right now. God's taking all that arthritis away. He's taking all the pain away from you now. Be healed. Be restored in Jesus' name. Yeah, I believe there's someone watching suffering from gout, and it's very painful. It's in your left foot. Uh, the Lord is healing that for you right now. And I also believe someone is watching. Your name is Mary, and you are actually having suicidal thoughts. God sees you and hears you and loves mm -hmm. you, and there is purpose over your life. There is purpose. Just receive the love of Christ right now in Jesus' name and go forth and live life in abundance. Amen and amen. If you've been touched, give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. There's also someone with difficulty in swallowing. God's just healed you, restored you.